I'm Rob Fox, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon, and I specialize in care of the foot and ankle. And uh, I work with patients of all ages, including athletes on a lot of different levels. Uh, in past videos, we've talked about the different types of feet, how we've categorized feet into types 1, 2, and 3, and uh, discussed a little bit about what a type 1 foot is. And I'd like to go into a little bit more detail on what a type 1 foot really is. Uh, a type 1 foot is, one, is a foot that is hyperpronated, uh, or the classic flat foot deformity. So hyperpronation or overpronation uh, is another term that we often use to, to describe the, the flat foot. Uh, we also, in scientific terms, often refer to it as a foot that has pes planus or pes plano valgus, uh, which means basically foot flat and then valgus means when the heel or another part of the, of the body is tilted away from the middle of the body. So when the heel is turned away from from the body or towards the outside, that's the valgus component. Uh, and then pronation really refers to the way that the arch tends to collapse or tends to drop down into more of a pronated position. And I'm not sure if I can show that well, but that's, uh, but we have, that's when the arch kind of drops into that position and the inside of the arch makes more contact with the ground. Um, now the, uh, the flat foot or the type one foot uh, has its own set of problems that are, that are associated with it. Uh, a flat foot tends to put more stress on the structures that are on the inside of the ankle and the inside of the arch, including the tendons, the ligaments, and also the bone structures. In addition, your shoe tends to collapse on the inside of the foot, so the heel, the inside of the heel towards the middle of the body tends to wear out more frequently and the shoe will collapse on the inside of the shoe if you have a flat foot deformity. Uh, that could be an indicator that you have that. And also, if you tend to get a lot of fatigue in your arch, along the inside of your ankle, uh, that could be an indication that your foot is rotated into a flat foot or pronated position and it's putting more stress on those structures.